restaurants I eat in very regularly is Morrow, just down the road on Exmouth Market. When we were building Caravan, they, it was like a second home to us. We'd eat there two or three nights a week, and they looked after us so well. Uh, and subsequently, you know, myself and my business partners just fell in love with it. When I go there, I always, without fail, will order the Malaga Raisin Ice Cream for dessert. It is so simple and so delicious, but it's again perfect. My favourite place to go for breakfast is Granger & Co on Westbourne Grove. I like it because the food is delicious. It's very simple, like Bill's food. It's kind of simple but very, very tasty. You go for breakfast there and you kind of bounce out when you finish. You don't feel you've had a really heavy breakfast that's going to weigh you down for the day. But at the same time you feel really satisfied. It's an excellent start to the day. The restaurant I admire the most and, and wished myself I was good enough to open uh, is, is the French Laundry. You know, for, for me, Thomas Keller is the ultimate chef restaurateur. It's a very difficult path to cross between a chef and a restaurateur. He, he, he's sophisticated, he's elegant, he commands a room when he's in it. You go in his kitchens and they're spotless, they run like machines. Thomas is the man and French Laundry for me is the restaurant and that's the restaurant I wish I'd have opened. Spontino is a good one for, for, for late at night, it's probably my favourite. It's, it's open late um, to 12 and it's very good cocktails in there. The food's good, um, I think it's good when you've had a few drinks, you know, it's that kind of food. It's tasty, all washed down with Negroni, it's, it's really good, yeah. Well, when I'm in New York, uh, the first time I went to Momofuku was probably, I don't know, far, when they first opened it, it was the first year, and someone had said, yeah, you must go there, and it's a small restaurant, and things that stick in my mind are the deep fried Brussels sprouts with chilli and fish sauce. Sort of Asian, I wouldn't use the word fusion, but it's kind of Asian with a twist. So I would say my favorite high-end meal in New York City is Le Bernard Inn. Eric Roper has been an idol of mine for years. I mean, even when I was in culinary school, I've always just had this extreme passion for seafood. And um, all of my menus have a strong uh, presence of seafood on them. And I think the real master in New York who does it the best is Eric Roper. Uh, bargain meal? When I think bargain, I think standing, eating, you know, so I go right to Shake Shack for the burger. Hands down, one of the, you know, probably my top three favorite burgers ever. Um, it's always satisfying, it's always consistent, um, reasonably priced. It's fun, you know, it's one of those, you know, you eat it and it drips down your arm and you get into it, you know, it's, it's, uh, it's tasty, the fries are great, the Shack sauce is great. I would say Katz's, which is an institute, Katz's Deli on East Houston is totally an institute here. And if you walk a couple blocks over, it definitely defines the area. It's a giant luncheon with uh, thousands of people inside. And it's just, for a chef to walk in there, I mean, you get great product, but how they do it, just kind of like, you shake your head sometimes.